to the family feud. Backstage, you need to pick a family. be the Robinson family now. And we're getting underway with our seventh game in this weekend's breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. The only game when the 10 grand was not won was in game number four, in which I came up two points short. Ouch. And for the seventh game, I happened to pick up a Skype guest with me, and that is C3PO626. Yes. And yep, I did tell him about Mikey's dumb answer that made the survey, so... But for the other dumb answers, I'm pretty sure next time he talks to Mikey, he's going to send him over the moon. <laughs> And Corey knows I'm doing my marathon early because I have to be at work from 9 to 5 tomorrow. And I also mentioned at the end of game number 8, stay tuned for a special announcement. Well, two special announcements, actually. We're going to have two announcements after we finish our 8th game. Right now we're in game 7. And so far in this marathon, we're up to $404,158. In on the deal, 100 people did the survey. Top seven answers are up on the board. Good luck. Thank you, Louie. We're ready. You ready to do this? Yes. Name something a young child takes with him when he runs away from home. Name something a young child takes with him when he runs away from home? How about a sleeping bag? Okay, family number one. No? How about a pillow? No? Uh, toys? No? A flashlight? No? How about food? Seven answers and is food up there? It's number two, so about twenty-five people. Yeah. Good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next time. Family number two. Money. I don't know. Okay. Show me the answer. Is money on the survey? It's there, number four, said by 13 people. Exactly. I think I'll play. Player Family number one is going to play. Another player, okay. Any answer for it? How about his pet? Ten is there, number six, said by seven people. Absolutely. Another player. We need another answer. How about a suitcase? Name something a young child takes with him when he runs away from home. I hope it's up there for you. Number five said by eight people. Good answer. <laughs> Next player, what you get? Close. A young child takes with him when he runs away from home. 
right there. Let's see. It's close up there. It's number three, seven by fourteen people. Good answer. <laughs> How about toothbrush? Name something a young child takes with him when he runs away from home. Let's see if it's up there. Nope, strike one. Good guess, but no, I gotta give you a strike. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? What about toothpaste? Name something a young child takes with him when he runs away from home. No? How about a blanket? Is it there? Show us! Bottom of the survey, said by three people. Yeah! Absolutely! Only one answer left. Toy is not there. Food, clothes, money, suitcase, pet, blanket. A uh, key. Bicycle. Piggy bank? That answer is already on the board. Got another one for us? So? Food, clothes, money, suitcase, pet, blanket. How about his friend? Cars? No. Something a little boy might take with him when he runs away from home. Cookies? I don't know. Hurry, we're running out of time. I can't think of anything else. Is it there? Show us. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Uh, leader hosen? One more strike, and you're up, family number two. Next player. I got away with that. <laughs> I didn't quite say methane, but okay. Now I did. Underwear? We already have that answer up there. Try again, please. Uh, shoes? I don't know. I can't think of anything. I don't know what the number one answer is. A wagon! Oh, of course. I want to see that answer. And it's not there! So we get the points. Good answer, but it wasn't in my top seven. I just don't know what the number one answer is. Alright, Uh, Corey Lawrence? Number one 
answer was Teddy Bear. Let's see how our families are doing after that. I just couldn't think of that answer. 70 to nothing. Family number one, you are off to a great start. Thanks, old meathead Louie. Let's go. It's time for round two. I'm ready, Louis. Everybody ready? Yeah. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. Sings. What do you think it is, family number one? All right. Show me that. It's there, but four answers are more popular. Good answer, but it's not number one. Next family gets a chance. Breezy Saturday from the Feud PlayStation Marathon. What do you think it is, family number two? Cracks Knuckles. Let's see if it's up there. I don't know about that one. Nope. I'll play. We need a decision. Play it. You're playing? Okay. How about are we there yet? Next player, it's your guess. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. No. Talks? Alright. Show me that answer. Number one answer. Or number two answer. Talks too much. Excuse me. Good answer! <laughs> How about wines? In a car, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. No? Cries? No? Sucks thumb? Wait a minute, burps! No? Corey, you're gonna like this one! Pass this gas! Okay. <laughs> the Corey just did. Is it there? It's not there. Rats. <laughs> that would have been a perfect answer for you. Pass this gas! Next family member. He just did it! Okay. In a car, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone. Else. Snores. All right. Let's see what's on the board. Part of the survey. Good answer. Ah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. How about complains? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. No? Coughs. All right. 
Show me that. No. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Uh, does the Harlem Shake with Corey. One more strike and you're up, family number two. Next oh, I got away with that. Ew. <laughs> Smokes. Number one answer, smokes. Smokes. Yeah. You got it. My number one answer. What about drinks? I don't know. That's all right. Smokes, talks too much, sings, snores. Arrives late. Choose gum. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. We're up to 151 points. We're building up a big lead, Kevin. We're almost 20 minutes into the video, and we're in round three. I don't know if we're going to have to stop soon or not. Seven answers. Here we go. We're ready. Both families ready? Yep. Name a food that slides right down your throat. A food that slides right down your throat. Uh, ice cream? Family number one. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? It's there, but one answer is more popular. 
Number two answer. Only one's going to beat it. Next thing. What do you think it is, family number two? Applesauce. Is it there? Let's see. Nope. Sorry. Oh, well. Good answer. But it's not on the board. I'll play. Are you going to play? You going to play? All right. How about soup? Name of food that slides right down your throat. Okay. Give me the answer. Number six answer said by four people. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. A food that slides right down your throat. How about three. chili? No? How about, uh, mashed potatoes? Alright. Show me that answer. Yeah, that's so number five answer, so about four people. Good answer! <laughs> How about gravy? Name of food that slides right down your throat. I hope it's up there for you. Oh! Yeah. It's not up there. Strike number one. Another player. We need another answer. How about bread? I don't know. Name of food that slides right down your throat. How about milk? No, that's a beverage. Food that slides right down your throat. Peas? No. Corn? No? Ice cream, mashed potatoes, soup. How about stew? No? Ice cream, mashed potatoes. Oh wait, what about a popsicle? No? Chocolate? I don't know, I can't think of anything. Alright, show me that. Nah. Second strike. I don't know! One more strike and you're up, family number two. Another player. We need another answer. Name a food that slides right down your throat. Chicken? I don't know. You never know what's going to be up there. This is a tough question. Oh, well. I can't believe it's not there. Sorry. Oh, well. Uh, Apparently.
to sign his methane? Let's go. I got away with that. Name a food that flies right down your throat. Snails? Ew. Let's see if it's up there. Jello or pudding. What was the oysters? And last Clams. One. Spaghetti or noodles. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Up to 182. Remember, families, it's anybody's game. The last round. Will Round four points are tripled, but you only get one strike. Then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. A member from each family. Let's go. We surveyed a hundred people. You know, it's always a hundred. I think I'm gonna buzz in and then I'm gonna stop, stop so I can transfer the videos. Try to give the most popular one. Both families ready? Yeah. Name something you have to sign to make it valid. Okay, family. And I'll give my answer when we come back. Okay, I got the videos transferred and I'm ready to go on. Name something you have to sign to make it valid. I'm going to say driver's license. And after this, it'll be fast money time, and then we'll move on into game number eight, and then after that game is over, I'm going to have a special announcement to give. Driver's license is there, but two answers are more popular. I already know the number one answer. Very good. But there's two up there that can beat it. Next family. I'm just trying to use some strategy. What do you think it is, family? They're going to go with a contract. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's see if it's up there. It's not there. I'm gonna pass it. Good answer, but it's not there, sorry. Here you go. We need a decision. Play your pass. Oh, passy right, passy. <laughs> right, Corey? You taught me well with that one. Next player. They're going to say. Name something you have to sign to make it valid. A deed. Nope. Sorry. Okay. Show me the answer. Nope. Sorry. It's not there. Next family can steal. I'm gonna go with a check. Name something you have to sign to make it valid. Survey set? Is a check on the survey. It's the number one answer said by 48 people. Check. And it's time for fast money. Our top answer. Way to go. Yeah, family number one, those points. <laughs> What were the other answers we did not know? Let's see what was it. A will. The fifth most A marriage license. Answer. Oh yeah. And last Mortgage. And tax form. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Alright, Corey. As mentioned, he wanted me to go first, so 
I'm going to give you the option of whether or not you want to mute your speakers. You don't have to, but you can. All right. Okay, so we got 338 points. We'll convert those into dollars immediately following Fast Money. So here we go. Ready. Who's going to play Fast Money? I need two players from your family. We've got another 10,000 bucks on the line here. What will happen? And I am going to give a dumb answer, as I mentioned a little bit ago. Five questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish reading the first one. On this breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Here we go. Name something you call it. Uh, your shoes. Name something you wear that your mother would disapprove of. Uh, a thong. Besides Ryan, the only way to cook Uh, grilling? Give me a word to describe the sound of Boom! Name something associated with cowboys. Uh, Corey Lawrence. <laughs> He's gonna get me for that one. <laughs> Let's see how you... Okay. Here we go. Name something you polish. Something you polish. Shoes. Sorry, you said? 23. It's there. Name something you wear that your mother would disapprove of. You wear your mother would disapprove of. A thong, even though I don't, personally. 22. Up to 45. Besides frying. Besides frying. Name a way to cook meat. I said grilling. Survey said... Six? Uh, Give me a word to describe Word to use to describe the sound of thunder. Boom. Shaka laka boom. Survey said 51. We doubled our points. Name something associated with cowboys. I said Corey Lawrence. And that got nothing. <laughs> Alright, are you ready, Corey? Same five questions. Good luck. And of course, I used your name in an answer. <laughs> Here we go, Corey. First question. Name something you polish. Name something you polish. Wood. Polish wood. Okay. Name something you wear that your mother would disapprove of. A thong. Try again. Bikini. Bikini. Oops. No, try again. That's a duplicate. Your mother would disapprove of. Uh, that's not showing up. How about... Skimpy underpants. Skimpy underpants? Okay. Yeah. Just say underpants. Alright. Not showing up. You wanna pass it? Yeah, pass it for now. Damn. Besides frying, name a way to cook meat. Besides frying, name a way to cook meat. Grilling. Try again. Baking. There you go. Give me a word to describe the sound of thunder. Uh, boom. Try again. Uh, it's, uh, uh, crackling. Try, uh, not showing up. Exploding. Nope. No. Uh, damn. Why don't I try one? Rumble. Sure. Name something associated with cowboys. Cowboy. Texas. We tried Texas one time, but it did not show up. Um, how about movies? Okay. Not showing up. I'll try one. Horse. Horses. Name something you wear that your mother would disapprove of. I'm gonna say an earring. There we go. Let's check it out and see how Here we go. Name something you polish. Something you polish. You said you polish wood. Sorry, I said. Nobody said that. 
Uh, Name something you wear that your mother something would... Something you wear your mother would disapprove of. Earrings. So everybody say it? Two. Ugh. Besides frying... Besides so frying, you way to cook meat. Baking. So everybody said? Sixteen. We're getting there. Give me a word to describe the sound of thunder. Word used to describe the sound of thunder. Boom, number one, I said rumble. Eight. We're going for five dollars a point this time. Name something associated, something associated with cowboys. I said horses. Forty-two. We got a hundred and seventy, so that's eight hundred dollars plus the three thirty-eight. One thousand three thirty-eight. That's too bad. Nice try. You're still our number one family, though. Congratulations. That's all right. It's only the second time we lost out. So that brings us up to four hundred five thousand. $296. We'll see y'all for the final game and two special announcements immediately following.